Axolotls have been internet famous for many years now, and as their popularity grew, so did the amount of misinformation out there about them. So today we are going to go over 10 common axolotl myths that need to be debunked. Starting off our list at number 10 is the myth that axolotls are just baby. Axolotls are neotenic salamanders. This means that they retain their larval features into adulthood. Some of these features include their gills, which you can see here. And because of this neoteny, they look very cute and kind of childlike, but they are fully grown adults. They just don't metamorphose from an aquatic larva into a land dwelling animal like other salamanders do. When most people see them, they assume that they must be babies since they look so cute with their little gills and big eyes. But really, they are full grown adults. Axolotls typically reach sexual maturity at around 18 to 24 months old, but some individuals don't mature until they are up to three years old. Coming in at number nine, we have the myth that axolotls lay eggs. As we mentioned before, axolotls are salamanders. Most species of salamanders lay eggs, but not the axolotl. They're actually one of the few species of salamanders that give birth to live young. They are oviviparous, meaning that they keep the eggs inside their body until they hatch and then give birth to live salamanders. Axolotl females can have anywhere from 10 to 100 young in a single litter. That's quite a lot of babies. In the wild, axolotl nests are made up of dozens of eggs, but in captivity, it's more common to only see a couple of eggs in a clutch. Even though they do give birth to live young, axolotls still make nests in order to protect and hold their eggs while they're still developing. Coming in at number eight, we have the myth that axolotls can breathe on land. Axolotls have lungs, so they technically can breathe air, but they cannot breathe on land. It sounds like a small distinction to make, but it is an important one. While they may be able to gulp down air, they cannot absorb oxygen through their skin or their mouths like some other amphibians can. If an axolotl was somehow stranded on land, they would slowly suffocate and die unless they were put back into water immediately. The reason why axolotls have lungs is probably due to their relatively recent evolutionary past. Once again, they are neotenic, which means that they retain their larval features into adulthood, including their gills. These gills are used for breathing underwater, and so most likely the ancestors would have also used them for breathing. Having gills means that you have to live underwater because those gills will dry out on land. So it makes sense that axolotls have evolved to be fully aquatic creatures. Their lungs allow them to gulp down oxygen while underwater, and they don't need to worry about drying out since they never leave the water. Number seven brings us the myth that axolotls are low maintenance pets. Axolotls can live up to 15 years, and during that time they have to have a high quality of life in order to be happy and healthy. Unfortunately, axolotls are not the low maintenance pets that some people think they are. For starters, they require a large tank since they grow quite big. A good rule of thumb is 20 gallons per axolotl. This doesn't mean that they need a 20 gallon tank all to themselves, but that's how much water volume they need in order to survive. Also, the water needs to be spring water or filtered tap water, and it should be changed on a regular basis. You also need to feed them a varied diet of high quality food and make sure their tank mates aren't bullying them. And if any of this sounds too hard, that's because it is. Taking care of axolotls isn't as easy as getting a goldfish, and it's definitely not something that should be taken lightly. If you want an easy pet, an axolotl is definitely not the way to go. Moving on at number six, we have the myth that axolotls can regenerate their limbs. This one isn't entirely false, but it's not completely true either. Axolotls are known for their amazing regenerative abilities. They can regrow their entire limbs if they lose them, and they can also heal from almost any other injury. However, when they regrow a limb, it's not exactly the same thing as the original. For example, if they lose their arm, they can grow back a new one, but it won't have any fingers. Instead, it will simply be a little nub. When axolotls regrow a limb, it's more like a replacement than a restoration. They don't have the ability to recreate every part of their original limb, but what they do have is the ability to grow a new limb that will serve the same purpose. So even though axolotls can't exactly regenerate their limbs, they still have an amazing ability to replace them. Coming in at number five, we have the myth that axolotls can't handle being touched. People sometimes say that axolotls can be picked up because their skin is so delicate and they're so slimy. But this isn't necessarily true. Axolotls can be handled, but it's important to wash your hands thoroughly before and after touching them. Just like any other animal, axolotls can carry bacteria that can make you sick. 
And if you touch them after handling other animals, or if you have any open wounds on your hands, you could make them sick. Axolotls have thin and permeable skin, so it's important to treat them gently. Don't scrub them or pick at their gills, and also avoid rubbing them on surfaces like gravel. Be mindful of your nails and make sure they aren't long or sharp, or else you could hurt them. Overall, axolotls can handle being touched, but it's important to be gentle and careful when doing so. Coming in at number four, we have the myth that axolotls come from Mexico. This one is pretty easy to believe since the vast majority of axolotls in the pet trade are Mexican axolotls. But they didn't necessarily originate from Mexico. Rather, they are found in Lake Xochimilco and Lake Chalco in Mexico. The two lakes are located near Mexico City, where the capital of Mexico is located, so it's easy to confuse the country with the city. Both lakes were formed by volcanic activity and are home to many other unique species of animals and plants. The lakes were once much larger, but due to human activity they have shrunk by a lot. This has made it harder for axolotls to find food and has put them at risk of extinction. Coming in at number three, we have the myth that axolotls can only be kept in cold water. Axolotls are a cold weather species, which means that they prefer temperatures between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. This is different from most aquarium fish, which prefer warmer temperatures. However, axolotls don't necessarily need cold water, rather they just prefer it. Temperatures between 68 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit are ideal for them because they are able to stay active and are less likely to get sick. However, they can tolerate temperatures as high as 77 degrees Fahrenheit for short periods of time. If you want to keep axolotls as pets, it's important to provide them with a temperature appropriate aquarium. If they are exposed to temperatures that are too high for too long, they can suffer from heat stroke and even die. Coming in at number two, we have the myth that axolotls are endangered. The axolotl is currently listed as critically endangered in the wild. This means that they are at a very high risk of becoming extinct. However, in captivity, they are relatively common and are sold in pet stores all over the world. The biggest threat to axolotls in the wild is habitat loss due to human activity. This has caused a decline in their population, but it hasn't caused them to become extinct yet. In captivity, axolotls are relatively easy to breed, which means that there are plenty of them to go around. However, it's important to remember that even though axolotls are common in the pet trade, they are still endangered in the wild. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, we have the myth that axolotls are immortal. This myth probably started because of their amazing regenerative abilities. Axolotls can regrow their limbs, heal from injuries, and even live up to 15 years in captivity. This leads some people to believe that they are immortal. However, axolotls are not immortal. They can and do die of old age. Like most other animals, their lifespan is limited. However, they are able to live longer than most other axolotls because they are able to regulate their metabolism and slow down their aging process. This is called being poikilothermic. Axolotls are neotenic, which allows them to control their own body temperature. By being poikilothermic, they are able to extend their lifespan, but they are not truly immortal. Thanks for watching. Do you know of any other axolotl myths that need to be busted? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new. And we'll see you next time.